Alright, what is going on everybody? Kraku here, back with another update video for the combination door lock. In the last one I showed you this repeated digit three times apparatus over here. And at the end of that video I told you that I might explain this light blue line, uh, what we'll call the ordering line, and how that determines the order of what buttons you press in the combination door lock, because it's kind of something I glazed over in this example that I built in the video. And this example that I built in the video, it's just a straight line across because it's in numerical order. So so when I say things like in the last episode that this only matters for ordering and you move it from one to the next, I'll kind of explain to you what that means and I'll show you with this example how that all works because this one isn't in numerical order. So I'll kind of show you through that. But first I'm going to start with an RS NOR latch. So place the blocks like that, redstone, torch, repeater, block, block, block above that, redstone, and a torch. Okay. so. The R snore latch. How this all kind of works. I need a button. Button. Right there. Okay. So, how this works. This redstone torch powers this repeater, which powers this block, which powers the redstone on top of it, which then powers this block, which powers the torch turning it off. This is basically an inverter. This system right here is an inverter for this torch. So this torch is off. But when you click it, what's going to happen is this power is going to power this block which inverts this redstone torch which cuts all this power and essentially turns off the inverter and allows this redstone torch to come on and when that redstone torch is on it will continually give power to this um this piece of redstone which will keep this redstone torch off which keeps this inverter off which keeps this one on so that's how the power stays on indefinitely okay so that's kind of the idea of what's going on there and so what that means is Let's look at this first block right here. We'll call this like the first output block. So if you look over at our design, our reset line, the red line comes down and runs into the first output line. And the reason that resets it is, let's flip it, okay? So this, power, this block is not receiving power, which means this is not inverted. Well, if we bring a signal into this block, it's going to power this one, which inverts the torch, which turns it off, which allows this torch to come on because it turns off this inverter, which powers this redstone repeater, powers this block, and keeps this inverted, which keeps this off. Right, so you, as you can see, it's on, power to that, flips the signal, okay? So that's how the reset line works. And as you can see, uh, from the light blue line, if you remember from our video, we took it from the first output block of one uh, RS NOR latch and brought it into the first output block of another. All right, so I'll kind of explain why we do that and how that how that creates sort of an ordering system of what buttons you need to click. So let's go ahead and look at this example. Um, actually, I'm going to start over here and explain how it works. So as you can notice with the RS NOR latch, when it's off, when when the signal is off before it's been turned on, the first out output block is um, is actually turned on and that's why we need to use repeaters or that's why we need to use an inverter we need to invert the signal right but what that means is if you bring uh, a repeater a signal out of this block and into the first output block of another one what that means is let's say we try to power this RS NOR latch well you know it'll try to do it but this block is receiving constant power which leaves this inverted which means this torch cannot come on even if we power it this torch cannot come on because this is constantly getting powered so what that means is that um when we turn this one off what you're going to see let's go ahead and click two here when we turn this one off sorry i it's three not two so when we have this powered this block right here, it no longer is charged. And that means that this line that we bring out into the first output block of, of the next RS NOR latch is no longer receiving a constant power. So if we try to invert it, or if we, uh, if we click it and try to turn it on, this torch, or since this block is not receiving constant power from another source, it's actually able to switch. So to kind of show you what that means, Let's take this five right here for an example, or the six, sorry. So if we click the six, nothing happens. It doesn't, doesn't turn on. But once we click the three, that stops receiving power, which means when we click the six, they can turn on. Okay, so that's kind of how that works. All right, 
Moving on to this. This is not in alphabetical order. This one is going to be 2885. Yeah, 2885. And so what we're going to do is you run, um, make sure you run, uh, I'll explain that in a second. So out of the first output block of the first digit you want to have set, you're going to run a, a repeater out. And then I just brought this underground just so we had a little more room because things get kind of crowded up on the surface level. So I brought it down just so we have more room. You can see that comes over and it runs directly into the output block, the first output block of this third repeater. Okay. Skips completely under and around, or I guess around, not really under, completely skips around the five. And that's because the five isn't the next one in the order. So we skip over, we go to this eight. And then from the design, uh, if you watch the first episode or the last update episode, you can see that I have these going from the first RS NOR latch with the eight to the second RS NOR latch, okay? And then from the second RS NOR latch, what that's going to do is bring another signal down here and it's going to come to the five. So what that means is that after the two has been powered, this signal gets cut off, which means you're no longer powering the eight RS NOR latch, which means you can power this first one. After that one's powered, cuts off this power, which means you can now power the second eight. And after that one is turned on, it cuts off this power, which means it's no longer giving a current to this, which means you can turn off the five. So that's kind of how it works. And that's what I mean when I say you can move the order and that's how you make it in non-numerical order. That's how you change the order of what you want it to be. Now, the last thing, the reason we don't need to run this reset line to each and every single um, RS NOR latch is for the reason I just explained. If we run into the first one, if we turn this one on, okay, this one is getting powered. Uh, oh, sorry, that did not work. I reset it instead of turning it on. That was weird. Um, this is not being powered. And so that means that this doesn't have power going to it, which means you can, uh, you can turn this one on. So let's say we have these first two on, right? There's no power coming into this one or into this one. Well, if we run this power into the first output block of the first RS NOR latch, what that's going to do is the power is going to travel through this wall block right here and power this invert or this repeater. And that is going to run into the first output block of this one. So at the same time, it's going to trigger both of them. And that signal will keep carrying on until it resets every single one of them. Okay, so that's kind of how the reset works. So you can see both of them are on. If we activate the reset, all of them are now off. It reset both of them. So this can get a bit confusing. If you know, if you really know how this RS NOR latch works, it kind of makes a little bit of sense, but it can be confusing until you get on and actually play with it and see how it works for yourself. So if anyone has any questions or you're confused about it, you know, leave a comment, um, contact me, and I can definitely make a video going more in depth because that was just kind of a brief overview, overview of how it happened, a little bit of detail. But uh, if anyone's still confused, I can definitely make a more in-depth detailed video of uh, these sort of different logic parts and how they work uh, and go into more detail with that. But until then, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.